play through some of these guys together. So type B, right? So the first uh, one that we have there is the C example. So here would be C triad, right? So we would take our thumb down by half step to get to C major seven, right? Now the examples, uh, the, the keys that I, that I listed there to notate, let's go through those guys. So for E flat major seven, you start with the triad, and your thumb goes down just half step for the major seven. And when you play, you might want to play the root of the chord on the left hand, because otherwise we just end up with a sound that is, doesn't even have the root, so it's hard to actually hear the quality of the sound, right? So here's a flat, E flat major seven. Now for A major seven, again, here's the triad, thumbs go down half step, and there's your A major seven. B major 7, here's B, thumb goes down half a step, cool, now we're going to get into the dominant chord, so let's start with the C dominant chord, here's C major, to get the flat 7, now instead of going half step down, we go a full step down, a whole step down, that's a C7. For D flat 7, we get this unfortunate situation here where the D flat goes to C and then C flat. We could, could call that B, but that would be uh, academically incorrect. It's a C flat. Silly as that may sound. So here's your D flat 7. Now your F sharp 7, here's your F sharp triad. Root goes down by a full step. F sharp 7. Last one of the dominant chords, B flat. Here's B flat triad. Thumb goes down a whole step to find the flat seven. And there's your B flat seven. Now let's get to the minor chords. Here's C minor triad. If we flat the set, we want a flat seven, we go down, the thumb goes down a whole step. There's your C minor seven. Now going to F, F minor 7, here's F minor, thumb goes down, whole step, there's your F minor 7. And last one, G sharp minor, thumb goes down, whole step for the flat 7, G sharp minor 7, right there. Does that make sense? Good. <laughs>